Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State Attack. Now, for ages since I've had Android phones and iPhones, I have wanted a beautiful, clear display free of apps so that I can enjoy the image that I chose for the background. And that has never been an option on an iPhone. And I don't know if it still is, uh, other than the fact that I just figured out how to have a completely clear background without any of your apps or icons on the screen without having to do some weird thing like having empty icons all over the back of your screen. What you're seeing here is a completely empty pane or, or home page or whatever with no apps on it. And if I swipe to this side, of course, I have my uh, my widgets. And then if I swipe over here, I have all of my other apps. But somehow in the middle of the two, I have this blank page, which gives me a unobstructed, beautiful view of my background image, just the way that I believe it should be, because you can do that on an Android phone. You should be able to do it on an iPhone. So let me show you how I stumbled upon this. So uh, what I had originally done is moved all of my apps over to the second page with the exception of Google. So I just had Google up there in the corner and it was a little frustrating to me knowing that I had to have one single app there, but hey, at least I could see the rest of my screen uh, without a bunch of apps and notifications and stuff all over it. Um, I, I had to leave the app up there. It wouldn't go down here, which would make me feel a lot better. I might even put one app on each side like I typically do on Android. Um, but when I kind of was feeling like this was, I don't know, I, maybe I was being silly uh, having one app up there and then always having to swipe over to get to all of my apps. I felt like it was an either all or nothing kind of thing for me. I thought, well, I'm just going to move the Google app back over to the other page and I'll just have just that page of apps and my home screen will look like this again. Uh, so here's what I did. I just simply tapped and dragged the app back over to the other side and dropped it and then hit done. And I thought to myself, wait a minute, why is there a little dot still there? And when I swiped back, it was an empty screen. And I thought to myself, uh, hello, was this a new feature that Apple added in some many versions ago, or maybe even the last version that if you did it this way, you can have an empty screen or is it simply a bug that they have failed to fix and I got so lucky as to stumble upon it? That I do not know. All I know is that this is extremely clean. If you've seen what my iPad looks like, you can see that my iPad screen is completely clear with all of my apps and folders down in the dock below. Of course, if that was possible, I would put all of these apps and folders in the dock down below to mimic more of like an app drawer or something like that but I feel like this is about as good as it's going to get. I get my beautiful full display, which, you know, Apple has always given us great looking displays. And despite, you know, the, the notch and whatnot, I, I still love just having a beautiful image as a background image. And I don't want to have a bunch of apps over the top of it. So if you're the type of person that likes to have a nice looking background image, and maybe you've decided not to have a lot of apps on your phone so that you can have as much screen real estate available as possible, or you've done something wonky like using some app that makes app icons that are portions of your image, which I think is a total, <laughs> just a pain in the butt and a waste of time. I've tried it before many versions ago on uh, the iPhone. Try it. Try taking all of your apps except for one, moving them over to a second screen. So having them on a second screen and then uh, move the last app over and see if it works. I'd be curious to see. So far, I've been able to replicate this on my iPad. I've been able to replicate it on my wife's iPhone and I've been able to replicate it on the new iPad mini that I just got in yesterday that I've been playing with. So I feel like it is either a bug that is existent and Apple has not squashed it or Apple is allowing us to have a blank screen uh, in between the widgets and our apps, which I think is truly a blessing. So let me know, give it a try. If you're the type of person that wants a nice clear screen like this, just so that you could be more distraction free so that you can see more of your background images, uh, making just a better, I think just a better visual experience of the iPhone. I mean, I have my apps that I utilize every day down here. I have my phone messages and camera. And then if I need any of my other apps, they're over there for me and I can access them with a single swipe. This is the way that I like it. And I hope that it sticks this way. So give it a try if you want a clear screen like this. 
Give it a try and let me know if it works for you down in the comment section below. I would be super interested to hear about it. And if you uh, if you want to show me uh, your beautiful display, take a screenshot and tweet it to me at State of Tech. Uh, shoot me a tweet with that screenshot of your screen so that I could see your image that you chose and your app layout down at the bottom. I just want to see if it works. So make sure to share that with me. So that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to kind of put that out there and share it with you because it's something I'm excited about. It might not get you excited, but you know, if you love beautiful background images on your phone and hate having them covered up by apps, I think this is worth your time to play with and give it a try. Thanks so much. And I hope to see you in the next one.